uh, wholly unimpressed by the lack of advance with all the meth injection systems that are out there short of multi-thousand dollar standalone setups that really give you any control. Um, nothing really ever tells you where you've got your set points. Um, it doesn't really give you the kind of control that I think you need in order to properly tune these setups. So that's uh, how this was born. On the right here I've got this frequency generator and it's meant to just emulate a GM mass air sensor which is all frequency based. Um, so the way that this all works is there's two buttons that cycle you through the menu so you hold them down and it'll take you into the setup. And the current parameter to edit is highlighted with an arrow. So the first one is the turn on frequency. Under that is the finish frequency. Below that is the turn on duty cycle and then the finish duty cycle. And you just hold the buttons to advance through. So we'll change one of these. So the right button increases it. So we'll go up to 45. And then the slider graph on the right is what I call the bend factor. So this is something I added because I wanted the ability to change it from a linear relationship. So right now, with it set in the middle, the pump will come on at 45% at 7,000 hertz and go to 90% at 14,000 and be completely linear in between. If I lower this bend factor down, the pump will come on very slowly and then ramp up really hard as uh, frequency increases. Whereas if I set this bend factor high, the pump will come on very quickly and hard and then kind of taper off. So we'll leave it in the middle just to show how everything works. Hold the buttons again. It'll take you back to the main screen. So we'll turn this all the way down. And you can see that below the threshold, which is 7,000 hertz right now, nothing's happening. As soon as you come on, the pump will kick on. And then as you turn this up, the pump will come up too. And you can see it tops out at whatever your your finished duty cycle is. So now we'll just show you how that bend factor works. We'll go back through the setup menu. And we'll set it all the way down. So we'll go back here and we'll once again turn this off and then we'll ramp up slowly so you can see so now it's active and you can see the frequency is still going up but the pump's not really changing its duty cycle but pretty soon it's going to come on really hard and ramp up very quickly to whatever your maximum is and having the bend factor set in the other direction very high just has the opposite effect the pump will come on very hard and then taper off um, i will be offering this with an analog voltage input so people that want to just use a, a normal map sensor like you normally would um, and control it based on boost pressure. You can do that too. You'll still have the same functionality with that bend factor and then being able to actually see where all of your points are set. So I think it'll make it a lot easier for people to tune these things themselves. So hope you enjoyed.